Hello guys, it's me Tori and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my Animal Crossing New Horizons Island progress after one week. So this is my island Evermore. I named it after Taylor Swift's new album because I set this island up literally the day after it was released. As you can see I have a bridge now and I have another house. Uh, I did the Tom Nook quest where you had to set up three houses and they're all ready to go. Well, pretty much. I have one villager moving in tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. Tomorrow, Rex is moving in. But today, I had Shivri move in. As you can see, she's currently sweeping the floor, which is honestly the cutest thing ever. I love it when they do that. I don't know why. There's just something wholesome about it. I had Shivri in my new leaf town before I reset it and redid my town again. And I just love Shivri so much. She's like one of my favourites. So I'm so happy to have her here on my island. And also when I was doing a video recently where I thought I would go on a mystery tour and let a villager move in, even though I didn't do the bit to buy the houses as I didn't realise. I thought she was gonna move in so I'm glad I got her in the end and Pashmina she's another one of my favorites I love her she gave me a Christmas wreath to go on my door and I just think she's so wholesome and yes as you can probably tell my native fruit on my island in case you didn't know already is pears and I feel like a lot of people don't like pears because they're green and leaves are green but have you seen them in winter pears are just good and I feel like they're minimal and subtle. And if you want to have a cute island with a cute cottage core theme or some type of aesthetic, I feel like sometimes the trees can kind of ruin your aesthetic, but these trees are perfect. And Mabel's coming to my town now. I don't have the Able Sisters shop unlocked yet, and Blathers is still in the tent. But um, I bought some clothes from Mabel in the end. I have this skirt that I'm wearing, that's from Mabel. And I also, later in this video, I buy a Christmas jumper because I don't have one in real life, which is very sad. But in real life, we can't celebrate Christmas right now, which is kind of sad. But I will in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And there's my map and my villagers. I'm so lucky with them. I mean, I've got Coach. He's not my favourite. But I have Pashmina, Shivri and Maddie. I don't like particularly where I put Maddie's house because it's in the centre of my island on some funny bit that's separated in the water that's just like on its own but i'll put a bridge there and do some like um terraforming as soon as i unlock that and yes as you can see all of my weeds are gone i mean there were so many there must be over a thousand on your island when you start the game and i went and sold most of them i put a few into storage because i thought i'd need them for like medicine and stuff but yeah and i have hyacinths which originally I really did not want hyacinths. I searched up like your birthday month, like your birth month and versus what type of flower you can get. And when I found out I could get hyacinths, I was so mad. But you know what? They're okay. I kind of like them after all. <laughs> and as you can see, Rex is moving in. Another villager that I had on my mystery island one time. And I thought, oh, he'll never move in. But guess what? He's moving in and that just makes me so happy. I love Rex. I think he's adorable, you know? Some people don't like him, but I think he's good. And I'm just tidying up my island because I left it a little bit messy and I want to be proud of my island, you know? We can't be house proud at the minute, but we can all be island proud. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. But yes, I'm really liking how my island is going. I mean, I haven't really done a lot to it because obviously it's only a week old. Um, I think this is technically day eight in my game. But I got a fence. I unlocked it. And I've created a little garden for myself. And I have a little DIY table because I didn't want a loading screen each time I did a DIY. And here's some DIYs that I have unlocked. I went to a friend's town over the internet. I have a friend on Twitter whose town that I visited. And she gave me a load of DIYs, which was honestly the sweetest thing ever. So if you're watching this video, thank you so much. This means such a lot to me. Oh, I didn't remember having a hyacinth crown, but that's adorable. I really like that. And then I'm going to show you guys my house because it's a bit of a mess. I haven't expanded it, but I do like it because it's yellow and I like yellow. 
If you're new to my channel, I adore the colour yellow. It's just adorable. And I did a little bit of customising. I don't know if I really like that bed particularly, but we'll go with it. I'm thinking of having like a yellow kitchen and like a pink and stone themed lounge of when I get like two rooms. And bathroom will probably be the last room that I do in this house because I don't care about bathrooms. I just don't care. And here is all the clothes I have currently. I used to have a beautiful red dress. It was like the skirt with suspenders dress. But I gave it to my sister because she wanted it. And yeah, it was a dress I bought from the Able Sisters in that friend on Twitter's town. And it basically, I spent all my money on this dress. And um, I gave it to my sister. But that's fine. I have some cute clothes. These clothes are all pretty much my style anyway. And she gave me some instruments as well. That's where I got those from. I got them from my friend's town. So she was incredibly generous. And I just, I love this little lantern and the little birdhouse. And I'm definitely happy that I put a DIY table outside. And yes, I'm just looking through my DIYs again. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'd ever use a pear umbrella. I really want to get a coconut wall planter at some point. And yeah. So I think I've pretty much shown you all of the island so far. I think I need to show you Maddie's house. I think I show you where I put Maddie's house in the end. As soon as I unlock Terra Thorming, I'm definitely going to change some stuff with my island. But basically, all I need is for Rex to move into my island. And then I need to wait a day. And then... I will have the upgraded resident services. I searched this up on the internet, so I know that on Tuesday, the 22nd of December, I will have a fully upgraded resident services, which will be a really nice early Christmas present, and I can't wait for that. Also, I'm seeing a lot of people in their towns, the little fir trees they have, like, on the top of the hill, they all have Christmas lights on them, but mine don't, and I don't know why that is, but I really want them. And yes, I'm speaking to Harvey. I think you can go to his island. Um, don't really know what's on his island, so I might have to check that one out. And now I'm just buying a Christmas jumper from Mabel because I will celebrate Christmas in Animal Crossing. I bought the red Christmas jumper in the end. I probably should have bought a Santa hat, but I didn't want to waste all my money because I do want to pay off my home loan because I want a bigger house because bigger is better, am I right? And also, I just want to start choosing what decor I have outside and making my island cottage core themed because that's what I want for my island and I want loads of cats and I just want it to be wholesome and cute but honestly isn't this holiday sweater genuinely the cutest thing that you've ever seen I just I really like it and I feel like so lucky with my villagers admittedly I have coach and he calls me stubble which is rude um but I can get rid of him eventually. When I get the campsite, I will set it up and the next villager that I get in that I like, I will get rid of him. And this is Maddie and she gave me a garden gnome. And honestly, I had to put the garden gnome up in my garden. I had to. I was going to originally give it to Pashmina because, you know, she kind of gave me stuff. And I have three villagers now with really cute gardens, but I decided not to in the end, and Coach doesn't even have a fence around his garden or anything, because I don't care about him. <laughs> so yeah, I put the little garden gnome outside my house, which I thought was really cute. It has a little yellow hat on it, and it just looks adorable. Who doesn't want a garden gnome outside the house? The thing I love about Animal Crossing is that you can just make it as beautiful as you like, and it's so wholesome. Like, there's never any serious drama everybody's just like happy and the worst thing that ever happens is you accidentally hit your villagers with a bug net or if you're my sister you hit them on purpose with a bug net my sister has already restarted her town and she decided to play in the southern hemisphere and she has peaches as her main fruit so she's just like everybody else now she's one of those peach girls <laughs> i like peaches honestly i think they're like my second favorite i think but I just like pears. Nobody likes them. And I wanted them on my town. And I have a yellow airport. So I think I got kind of lucky. <laughs> and I was just 
obsessed with the new emotions that I recently unlocked as well. And I have 17,910 bells, which probably isn't a lot to you if you've played Animal Crossing a lot, but to me, it's a lot. Even in New Leaf, that would have been a lot to me, because I never used to save up any money. <laughs> I don't know, I'm always broke in Animal Crossing. <laughs> I'm always just broke. <laughs> So on that note, I think I'm going to go. This is my island after one week, or well, technically eight days. I think I've put about 17 or 18 hours into my town. It's all clean and tidy, and I have some idea of where I want to go with my island. So I'm going to go now. Please don't forget to like and comment subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I hope you all have a really good day, and I will see you guys next time.